Hey everybody, this is t -t 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 Tiffany. Um, I am a s b -b -b beach language p p pathologist and a person who stutters. Um, if you've seen my videos before, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, but I kind of just kind of talk, talk, talk about stuttering in various different ways. What I'm going to talk about today is a viewer request to talk about what it feels like emotionally, um, when I'm stuttering, um, when I'm having a hard block, for example, like what feelings do I have inside? Um, I've done videos in the past on like the kind of the physiological underpinnings of that. So like what's actually happening in your body while you're doing that. Um, but um, this viewer requested that I talk about the emotions of it. So I'm doing that. Um, so what I'm going to do to do that is um, I, 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 I'm going to read to you guys a p -p poem that I wrote, like a spoken word poem that I wrote about stuttering and kind of the feelings that I have um, when I'm stuttering in society when people are reacting, um, what it feels like to be a person who stutters and kind of the internal struggles of that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I've actually n n never written a spoken word poem before, um, and I've never performed this one. So um, don't judge me if it's bad. <laughs> um, but it kind of gets at a sense of, like, what I feel like, and then I'll kind of talk about it. So here goes. I, I, I walk down the street and see people looking at me. They judge what they hear, and they judge what they see. Their silent stares scream words with their eyes. They don't see the pain and embarrassment in the tear that too quickly dries. Our society pretends that discrimination isn't real, yet we all have stories that make it hard to heal. Fluent speakers can pretend all they want. They're afforded equal opportunity while we are not. What's it like to be normal, I ask every day? The answer evades me with each word that they say. What's wrong with you? They ask as the words stop. Others just laugh or look with sympathetic eyes. It's just over the top. I cry out of frustration for what I can't say in response to a simple question like, how was your day? Others throw out words, not caring how they sound. While I carefully craft my words, trying to talk around. Stuttering isn't that bad. There are far worse things, they say, but they don't live with the pain, the embarrassment, and the exhaustion of just getting through the day. Although what I've dealt with isn't fair, I've slowly learned not to care. I won't let people's negativity stop me from talking, even if they never stop their gawking. So there's that. Um, <laughs> so, um... What the reason I wrote this is um, mostly just because I think uh, creativity art forms is a good way to kind of get out some negativity or some frustration, kind of express what you're feeling in a variety of ways, but especially when it comes to those negative emotions. Um, just because if you t t talk about it a lot and obsess over it, um, think about it a lot, it kind of, it'll just make it worse. It just is a cycle. Um, so being able to express, I think, is super important. Um, but yeah, so to answer uh, the, 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 this view, view, viewer's question, um, when I'm stuttering, I feel a lot of different things. Um, and it's very dependent for me on how other people are reacting, how comfortable I am with those people, and how I think they're, what I think they're thinking of me, feeling about me, etc. So if I'm having a really hard stutter, no matter who I'm with, I feel bad. I feel guilty that I'm, that I'm t taking up so much of their time. Even if it's someone who I know is okay with it, I definitely still feel that way. Um, I feel helpless if it's a really long one because it's so hard to get it out that when I'm just stuck there for a minute or whatever, then sometimes it feels like it's never going to come. And it's, it's a weird thing stuttering is because you, 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 you're, you have some control of your speech. I'm not going to pretend like you don't, but to some degree you're at the mercy of this 
thing in you, a part of you that stops you from being able to express what you're saying. And so sometimes I will be stuttering and I will try different techniques and I will try to get out of the, out of the block that I'm having and nothing works. And in those moments, I just just, just start to panic that I'm never going to be able to say it. And then I feel guilty, like I said, about taking extra time and, you know, I don't want to give up and change the word sometimes. Sometimes I do, but a lot of times I don't want to give up and change the word because that feels defeating. But then I don't know how long, I don't know when it's going to happen or when it's going to come out or if it will, you know. And so it can be, it can definitely cause me anxiety um, and embarrassment. Um, I, I also tend to sometimes kind of when I'm in the moment I definitely think, like I said, about what people think of me. And so if I'm trying to impress someone, like, for example, I just started dating this guy. And so I want him to like me and think that I'm pretty and all these things. And um, that's something that I think is a really, it's a struggle for people who stutter, but especially for females who stutter, is this idea that society generally just objectively says that stuttering is not attractive. You know, even if people accept it, no one's going to say, like, Oh yeah, like stuttering is so hot. You know, people might say it, but they don't really mean it. Like if 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 if, if, if someone's stuttering like a long time, no one's gonna say that was so hot. You know, so I um I I, I definitely think about w- w- what the person is th- th- thinking of me when I'm having a hard time. So like if I'm stuttering a lot and I'm like in a block, I think like oh they're not gonna like me. You know, they're not gonna think I'm pretty. Um. Yeah, so I definitely go down that kind of rabbit hole. Um, I don't know, and like on a kind of lighter side of things, sometimes when I am stuttering, I also think about like, you know, even though this is uncomfortable for me and for them, this is good for them because the 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 the, the best way to Im- improve per- per- perceptions about something is through exposure and d d d d d d d d d since sensitization um and so I, I i sometimes think about me stuttering in public as being something that is good for my subgroup for my um minority group um because if they see me and they learn to react positively either i tell them or you know they do something right or whatever and they are com- you know they get through it um then they're exposed to it, um, so and they hopefully will know how to react to the next person. So that's something I definitely think about. Um, but yeah, I would say for the most part, most of because I like have conquered a lot of my internal demons with stuttering. Like a lot of people maybe haven't, so I'm, I'm sure that there are other feelings that they have as well um, t- about stuttering and when they're stuttering. Um, but for me, a lot of it is just kind of um, physical things. So like I am. Um, stuttering and I'm thinking like I need to get to the next sound. So like one of my feared words is, is my biggest feared word. This is so hard to say is the word. Mimosa. It's so hard, and I usually have even a harder time saying it than that. Um, so in that moment, yes, I'm worried about the time I'm taking and stuff like that, but then I'm also mostly thinking about like, okay, I'm saying the M sound, I need to get to the next sound, okay. I have this this combination of sounds. Meh. I need to get to the mo, and that's the hardest part for me is because with that word specifically, because I am stuttering and I'm trying to get to the next sound, but then the next sound kind of gets incorporated with my stutter. Um, so, like, if I'm trying to say like mim, then I'll get stuck saying that instead of getting to the o. Um, yeah, so. That's a lot of what I think about is just kind of like, how do I get through this word faster so that people aren't waiting for me? So 
yeah. Anyway, I hope that answers your question. If you guys have further questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe. If you have other requests, you can um, leave, leave them in the comments below and I might get to them. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.